kids, welcome back. It's week 25, day five. Our highlight verse today is Daniel 3, 24 through 28. Let's look at the King James Version first. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake, and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Now let's look at that in the NIRV version. Daniel 3, 24 through 28. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet. He was so amazed, he asked his advisors, didn't we tie up three men? Didn't we throw three men into the fire? They replied, yes, we did, your majesty. The king said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't tied up and the fire hasn't even harmed them. The fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Then the king approached the opening of the blazing furnace. He shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out. You who serve the Most High God, come here. So they came out of the fire. The royal rulers, high officials, governors, and advisors crowded around them. They saw that the fire hadn't harmed their bodies. Not one hair on their heads was burned. Their robes weren't burned either, and they didn't even smell like smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants. They trusted in him. They refused to obey my command. They were willing to give up their lives. They would rather die than serve or worship any God except their own God. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. Wow, what an incredible story. And it's not just a story, it's the truth. It's what happened. How awesome is that? Let's see what it says in our explained section. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were friends of Daniel taken to Babylon. So they were captive as well. And it says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to Nebuchadnezzar's false god. So Nebuchadnezzar had them thrown into the fiery furnace. Okay, so they had made a law to everybody had to bow down to this false idol that they made with their own hands. They made this big golden figure and they had to bow down to it whenever the alarm went off in the town. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel would not do it. So God was with them and protected them from harm because of their obedience. God saved them and the king praised God. A lot of goodness happened because of their obedience, right? So even though they were in exile, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego remain true followers of God. 
Now, what does it mean to be exiled? According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, exile for a noun is the state or period of forced absence from one's country or home. And as a verb, you would say exiled or exiling. Definition of exile, to banish or expel from one's own country or home. but they still remain true to God. Their friend Daniel's rise to a position of power had given them influence and power too. So remember when Daniel told the king what his dream meant? Well, the king made Daniel his highest advisor and gave him robes and power and influence. So their friends, Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, had also been given power and influence. Still, they would not worship the king's idol, so he had them thrown into a furnace so hot it killed the men who threw them in. But God kept Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from any harm. Seeing this, the king praised God. So you notice how we react, how we do things makes an, a difference for others when they watch us and they see us. If we do what we're supposed to do, they will eventually praise God because of our obedience. That's our hope. Now, how do we apply this to our life? It says here, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had the courage to obey God no matter what. Do you have that courage? I'd like to think that I have that courage, but I have to call on God to help me have that courage, right? So we can have courage to obey God even when others don't want us to. Now take some time and discuss this with your parents. Let's respond in prayer. Heavenly Father, please give me the courage to obey you every day. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. Now, pray that prayer every day that you get a chance. And when you are faced with fear of telling anybody about Jesus, you just need to ask God and he will give you that courage. All right. Now it's time for our memory verse. Ezekiel 36, 26, King James Version. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26, NIRV. I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn hearts from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. Thanks for the word of God. Amen. Great job. Okay, see you next time.